Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California, and today we're going to do a video review of Bandai's Robot Damashi, the Robot Spirits. This is Gundam AGE-1 Normal. This is from the AGE line, so this is fairly new. I believe this came in 2011. This is a Bandai, Tamashi Nations. So let's take a look at this. Uh, the box is really small, so it's not like humongous, which is good because it doesn't have a ton of extras. I do like this. The rifle is not black, so that's one thing. Uh, here's, of course, the prototype. This is R108. Here's uh, the side of the box, uh, back of the box, which has a lot of extras. Well, not too many. Uh, I'm just going to show you the figure here. Bottom of the box. Top of the box. Side of the box. 108. Figure is the main draw here, and it is a good looking figure. Uh, painting here, the paint apps are kind of drab, it's not as colorfully what do you call that painted, but it is what it is. It's um, good paint apps, not tremendously eye popping, but not too bad. I wish the head were a little bigger, but I understand, hey, for the scale, it's pretty good. There's no light piping, but you can see the painted eyes, so good detail on that. You even see paint on the crown over here. And the only thing I don't like is this, this hard plastic on the points over here. So, good tendency to break off later on. So, red paint apps on the face, red paint apps on the chin here. I like the black stripes. Very good paint apps for a tiny little head. Gray, gunmetal gray on the so Actually, more of a gray. This is more of a gunmetal gray here. So, jet pack here over here. And I was just going to show you the it's good time here to show you what it comes with. So, it also has this flame burst that you put that, two extra pair of hands splayed open and for the gun. One thing I don't like about that, it is difficult to take off these. I had, it comes with this little piece, or take off the hands. It comes with this little piece, which I have no idea what this is. Four beam savers, a short one and two, uh, two short ones, two long ones, a shield, and the gun, which is totally awesome. I, I really like this gun. So let's go ahead and show you the articulation of the figure. Uh, has a crest over here, and I'm, I'm I'm just blown away at how much articulation this has. Uh, it's not like SH figure I know it's a Bandai. It's a different line, but yeah, it just rivals that. It does have a ball jointed head, so it could just move around. A single crane, uh, that joint doesn't move that much. The shoulder shrugs, so that's good. You have to, this thing does move about, so you're going to have to move that so it aligns. You can see the swivel joint right there. So, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Has a swivel over here in the middle of the forearm, so it's good. Swivels, swivel on the wrists, and rotates. Good. All right, what else we have? Oh yeah, I do love the fact that it has upper torso articulation that can move side to side in addition to swivel on the waist. Good amount over there. Has a joint over here, not weird looking swivel joint on the hip. It can swivel out, actually a hinge on out. Upper thigh swivel, so good articulation there. Double jointed knee. Has a ball jointed ball jointed what do you call that ankle joint and also it is on a hinge so good articulation on that so definitely you can get them in poses you can see the skirt pieces and the amount of poses you can get them is really good because and because of that it is just wonderful in that respect let's see what other extras do we have I'm just gonna attach that you have the little flame plume over here that you can attach and it just tabs in. There's three tabs over here and three tabs over here. So it just tabs in. There we go. It's kind of difficult to tab in, but you, you can make it happen. It's loose too, so not the best. And I hopefully I didn't break it by doing so. Probably helps removing that little bit. Okay, yeah. Trust me, it does not like to do that. But, yeah. And we're just going to tab this back in. And thankfully it didn't break here. But yeah, so if you want to do this little jetpack mode, most definitely. I just want to show you that. So so that's a little extra that it has. So if it's like... Neat. Very neat. 
let's see what other things. You got the big shield. Oh, and one thing is, and it just has a little tab right here. You can tell right there, and it just tabs in right. There we go. So, yeah, you can definitely put them in good poses. I'm going to take this off because it's really not that not impressive but yeah the shield most definitely awesome well one thing I wanted to show you is popping out the hands is not very not very intuitive I'm afraid oh and the shield does rotate so that's a very good plus over here man you can get this thing in a ton of poses and best of all it is cheap you can get this for cheap really cheap all right one thing I do to pop this out is I turn the head or the fist around Put a little implement over here because it doesn't pop out very easy. Yeah, try to get it in that groove right here. And just let it pop out. Yeah, these things do not pop out easy. I'm going to tell you this right now. It also comes with an instruction sheet which helps a lot. Oops, and yeah, trust me, that was not easy and the thing flew off. So hopefully I can do a lot better with the other hand right here. And it just tabs in like so. Oops, I put the wrong fist in. Well, let me see. So yeah, tabbing in these fists is not easy. They definitely don't want to work. So I'm going to put the other one over here while I'm doing that. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to get the rifle over here because the rifle is cool. One thing about that I like the, on the rifle is that it could be held by more than one hand. Okay. It doesn't have that cool green finish over here. And I'm just going to leave it like that so it grips over here. And there's a little tab over here that actually can tab on the side. But if you turn this rifle like that, it could be a two-handed rifle. And there's a little green little spot over here. So it's got a middle gray, matches the fist, but nothing spectacular. But it, it's pretty cool nonetheless. So let me see if I can put that in. Yeah, there's a little tab right here that tabs right there. And I'm going to move that like that. And the hand should tab in, sort of. I'm not going to try to tab it in. So most definitely good amount of posing. You want to stick this out so that he can grab it with his other arm. He most definitely can. So that is just wonderfully cool. Yeah, just like that. Awesome, awesome toy. Good looking toy. Oh yeah, one thing I like about this is he also has a beam saver. And these little attachments actually come from the skirt pieces. So really neat, really neat. All we have to do, and I already mentioned there's two sizes here, and you get two of them, so you can do that. So you can pop in this one right here, the small one, and the large one. Of course, we're going to go with the large beam saver, because of course it's a lot more impressive. There we go. So yeah, this review is running a bit long, but the amount of detail on this guy is just fantastic. And I'm rather enjoying this. There we go. Yeah. So very, very good. Yeah, wonderful looking, wonderful articulation. It just allows it just to, the, what you can do with this thing is just great. And I, I rather enjoy it. So let's go ahead, show you the rest of it over here. See, let's uh, give you a size comparison. He's really short, about five and a quarter inches, deluxe size, if you will. So he, he is on par with a deluxe size figure. I'm going to show you against uh, my girl, my six inch figure here, Samus. So the reason I like this Gundam is simply because it is cheap. You can get them for cheap, 20 bucks and it's yours. One of the better figures I've seen. I really am impressed with this line. I'm mostly impressed with the Gundam line. I, I rather highly enjoy this. So as cheap as it is, I'm pretty sure you can put, get this and get good fun out of them. Definite eight out of 10 for this guy. If I had better paint apps, it would definitely launch it in the 10 category. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I catch y'all next time.